Hi everyone and welcome to Coconut TV. I am so grateful. Um, I have great news for all of my Coconut TV viewers. Um, I bring you this news with great joy in my heart and I hope that this story I will share with you serves as an inspiration to you to um, shine your light and to go within to spirit and really truly live your purpose and shine your light in this world. I have great news. I was ordained as a minister this weekend from Pathways of Light and I am just in awe. I, um, my journey started three years ago. Many of you know that I am divorced and I mentioned to um, a friend of mine that actually had ministered our wedding um, and I was in just um, in sadness and depression in not understanding why this was going on. And I talked with um, Johannes, which she um, was the minister as I said, and I told her and I asked her what should I do? At that time she recommended that I go to Pathways of Light ministerial school as she knew I loved A Course in Miracles and she said why don't you go and check it out and that might help you. I said yeah Johannes but I don't want to be a minister. I am an actor. I am a TV host. I don't want to be a minister. I don't want anything to do with being a minister actually. At that time she said well Maria don't do it to be a minister. You don't have to practice it after that. You don't have to be a minister but you can, um, since you love A Course in Miracles so much, this would be great for you because you would just strengthen more your principles and learn even more about The Course in Miracles. And then that got me intrigued. And then I went on to read Pathways of Light um, website, which is extraordinary, and I invite everybody to check it out. They have beautiful courses on going within to Holy Spirit and hearing your inner guidance, whatever word resonates with you of your inner guidance. and check out the website and see um, if there's any courses there that would be of, um, of that resonate with you. Um, moving on, I, I was able to turn the situation with getting a divorce in, that's supposedly something that is supposed to be that supposed that in the worldly sense is supposed to be something negative. And I don't think it was something negative. I think it's something that um, has actually served me in so many ways. And I feel that this opportunity came through that experience. Three years now forward to sitting right here with you today in front of you all, I was ordained um, and I want to share my commitment with you because um, I, I just feel called to. I said this in the phone call to everyone that was at the ceremony and I want to share it with my viewers today. And it goes like this. As a Pathways of Light minister, I commit to fulfill my life purpose, to be of service to spirit, and to do everything in my power to assist in the spiritual awakening now occurring on the planet. And that's my commitment. My commitment is to you, because as I commit to you and to um, just standing in for your highest best, I am also committed to myself because we are one. So I just wanted to share with you my commitment. And I hope that in me sharing my commitment, you go within and you see what your commitment is to this world and see where you can shine your light and see how you can shine your light in a bigger, better way at your job. And if the job that you're doing or what you're doing in the world right now is not shining your light, then find what makes your light shine. Because I'm here to tell you that you are worthy of that. Because three years ago, I didn't feel that, I didn't even think I was gonna be where I am today. But I was willing to heal and I was willing not to be in victim mode and make somebody else wrong and be the right one, right? I was just like, wow, I'm suffering right now. Let me see this another way. Is there another path? I don't know what anything means, but just show me. Show me, God. Show me the way so that I can just stop suffering 
and I could be of service. And I just want to thank everyone that has supported me. I want to thank Pathways of Light, as I, as I did in the ceremony, as well as all the facilitators and ministers, and all the angels in my life, as well as Unity on the, on, of Burbank, and every single person that has been there for me till today. And I don't know what the future holds. All I know that it holds a lot of deliciousness and a lot of miracles. Actually, I could say a lot of delicious miracles. <laughs> and I just want to celebrate now. I just want to celebrate. I don't have music, but I'm going to be going whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Cocoism for this week is I am a beacon of light. And I want to close by a beautiful quote from A Course in Miracles. I might not say word for word, but I love it. And it was actually said in the ceremony as well. And it goes like this. I am here to be truly helpful. I am here to represent he who sent me. I don't have to worry about what to say or do because he who sent me will direct me. I am content to be wherever he wishes because he goes there with me. I am willing to heal as I teach others to heal. Have a blessed week filled with love and light. Until next time.